So it's Monday, Halloween. Uh, I have been kind of, I don't know, a little disjointed here. Turned in a freelance project that was due today. Happy to get that done. I have one more to go. Uh, bought some candy at the store. I, I've heard that we don't get many trick-or-treaters here, but wanted to make sure we had enough just in case. And I guess if we don't, then we get to eat candy. <laughs> Darn. Well, I shouldn't, but... Um, anyway, uh, my mom is, I'm waiting for my mom to come over. She's, she was actually in Phoenix for the weekend and she hasn't seen the house yet. So she said that she was going to stop by on her way back up. And so kind of waiting for that and, uh, just some, I don't know, a little this and that kind of things today, mostly working, uh, from home. I'm going to Flagstaff on Thursday. There was a, a woman at my at the place where my dad is in assisted living. Um, There's a woman there, um, and of course, you know, people there are elderly, and so it's not uncommon for people to pass away, but I have kind of become friends with this couple, and the, the woman of this couple, her mom, was in the memory unit at this uh, assisted living place, and I've met her. Um, she actually had really, um, she actually had really, bad dementia and like she probably had about maybe five minutes three to five minutes that she would remember in a row and to and then she would go back to asking the same questions again uh she actually had a crush on my my husband when she met him she was really ticked off when she found out that he was married to me but apparently she thinks she always thought she was much younger than she is and she was 90 uh, she seemed really healthy, but my dad told me she passed away, I guess, um, a couple weeks ago. She had a stroke, and then she just didn't have the strength to make it through. So I thought that would be a good day to go up to Flagstaff because there's going to be a memorial service for her. Today is also the day I'm getting started on my monthly chores. So I have um, a video that I had done over on Busying Jen. I'll do another one on this channel. But um, once a month I do chores that are things that don't have to be done on a daily, weekly kind of a basis, but things that are really good to do once a month and it's deep cleaning kinds of things. And so what I did here today is I deep cleaned my dishwasher. And so I use this product called a fresh and it is specifically made for cleaning your dishwasher you don't think that they need to be cleaned but especially if you live in a place where there's hard water it it gets rid of hard water buildup and especially with brand new appliances I figure you know no time but the present to get started on that um, so I usually try to start a, a few days before the first of the month to get some of these things finished so I did that one uh, yesterday, two days ago, I did a deep cleaning of the washing machine, believe it or not. Um, and so I have a Tide product that is meant for washing the washing machine. You put it on. My, my washer has a tub cycle and it's super hot. Uh, you could also put it on the sanitizing cycle or allergen cycle or just put it on a heavy load, um, largest load size and hot. And then you add this stuff to it and it, it just cleans and refreshes your washing machine so that when it's all finished, man, it smells so good. Okay, and I thought I would show you what came in the mail over the weekend. Um, this is the ornament that I ordered for Chloe. It says you left paw prints on our hearts. And then it says her name and, um, 2003 to 2016. It's made of wood. Um, if I had found something like this for when I ordered my ornament for Vanessa, I probably would have gotten that because Vanessa's is made of glass and um, we have all wood floors and tile in this house. We're planning to put the Christmas tree over there. We'll move the cactus skeleton and put the tree there um, so it won't be like tile which would really break stuff if it fell but still with hard floors um, it, it will likely break if it falls off the tree so I'm gonna have to put some blankets underneath the tree skirt and also just make sure that that ornament is really hooked on well like that I twist 
the hook so that it doesn't fall off. This one, if it falls off, it's not going to break. Um, so that's, you know, that's kind of nice about this. Um, I'm glad I have this, but I always find that, that, you know, I, when I do stuff like this and memorialize them and then I get it, I'm not really that excited. I'm actually kind of ticked off that I have something with her name on it and not her, but, um, but I am glad I have this and we're kind of, I'm, I'm doing better. You guys, um, doing a lot better. Um, and you know, just life goes on. I know this isn't really the time of year to be talking about gardening stuff, but especially since I've moved here to Camp Verde, um, I have a reprieve on um, winter coming. And so, so anyway, this is a petunia plant, of course, that I brought with me. I had it growing all summer. It, um, it didn't go crazy like some of my other petunias have in the past. Um, it was in a place where it was getting pretty beat by the sun. But I, you know, at the end of the season, you know how petunias get all spindly and they've got these long things and there's a whole line of, of where the flowers had been and then just flowers at the very end? Well, I looked up online how you're actually supposed to keep a petunia blooming and make it last longer. And they actually said that, you know how you, you think you're supposed to deadhead by um, taking this and pulling it out, right? And so I've always heard that when the flowers are spent that you're supposed to do that. But then it leaves this little thing on there. And that actually um, has, I guess, does it have seeds in it? It tells the plant that it's coming to the end of its life as a flower producing plant and that it's time to go to seed. So when you have all these things all over it, um, it just sends the message that it's time to be done. What you're really supposed to do is rather than just taking that off is you're supposed to take this whole piece off here. So that whole thing is supposed to come off and then it ends up sending out more shoots from those places. So you're not just producing from the end, you're getting more blossoms um, all the way down. And so I'm kind of excited about that. This plant probably isn't going to last too much longer since we're getting to a place where, I mean, it's November 1st, so we're bound to get some cold weather here at some point. But oh, what did I just see? Oh, see right here? Um, see, there's one that's producing a flower bud way down lower and normally it would just be producing on the end. So I was really glad to find that out and I'm really excited for next year to um, when I have my new petunias growing to prune them like that throughout the entire summer uh, and see what I get because apparently you're just supposed to have these beautiful lush petunia plants all summer long and not just have them get to the point where you have nothing but a few spindly flowers on the end. All right, so dinner tonight is gonna to be a salmon with citrus salsa. This is the salsa I'm making ahead of time so the flavors can meld together. It's got one orange that's chopped up along with about a, a little bit more than a half a cup of crushed pineapple, a shallot that's chopped up and also a jalapeno, but the seeds and the um, kind of pulpy part on the inside are taken out so it's not hot. It actually is just for flavor that's served on top of the salmon. The salmon over here has a rub on it of salt, pepper, orange zest, and sugar rub on it. Put it on the grill until it's nice and flaky. Serve it with the citrus salsa on top and a side of rice. So here's dinner. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Um, I am dressed and doing stuff around the house. I haven't put on my makeup yet, so sorry about that. I wanted to show you though, I put together, well, November for my for my 2016 mini challenges. Those of you who um, have been watching my other channel, Busy Being Jen, know that every month I've been having a different challenge rather than having a New Year's resolution that you do all through the year. It's a different challenge every month. And the November challenge is a 15 minute pickup which just means you take, you know, 15 minutes, if it takes that long, no more than that, to just go through the house every day 
and take stuff that isn't where it's supposed to be and put it where it's supposed to be. Um, anyway, so instead of just doing the 15 minute pickup, I decided to set up a plan for myself that includes a 15 minute pickup every day, but that has daily cleaning chores. And, um, you know, I was talking about how I do monthly chores, but in the past, like in Flagstaff for the past, I don't know, seven years, I've had a cleaning lady. Um, and she was amazing, and she came once every two weeks, and it was, I mean, she was so detailed, she cleaned my toothbrush charger, and she only charged 90 bucks. So it was really a good deal. Um, well, now we're here, and I don't have a cleaning lady, and I don't wanna just hire any old cleaning service. So I'm cleaning my own house, and I don't wanna have to take an entire day of my life to clean the entire house. So I thought it would be better if I just had a different chore every day that I would do and um, or maybe a few little chores every day and then one major chore every day and that way then I would have everything, you know, clean on an ongoing basis. So let me show you the little uh, printable that I downloaded and I think I paid for this. So it should have it should have where I got it from. All right, so this one, it, it, it has, um, let's see, it has rinse, scour, and scrub pages that are labeled that way. The rinse page is essentially a weekly cleanup. Okay, each day, you can see Monday through Friday, has um, some things that are already programmed in and then a place where you can program your own stuff. So declutter, counters, beds, dishes and laundry are on there for every day and then for Monday I have down that I'll well I'm putting down Swift as in Swiffering the floors every day because this is such a dusty place and I'm gonna have to essentially dust my floors every day so Monday is gonna be uh, clean the kitchen like not just wiping off counters but actually scrub the sink clean out the inside of the microwave you know all that kind of stuff Tuesday is going to be washing sheets and towels. Um, Wednesday is dusting. And let's see, just the traditional dusting. Thursday is bathrooms. Friday is floors. So I will vacuum the floors and use my wet vac on the floors. Saturday will be cleaning up and sweeping off the patio and the front porch. And then Sunday is just Swiffering. Um, so laundry is on here for every day. I certainly will not be doing laundry every day, but I'll check that off just to indicate, yes, there was laundry to do and I did it, or no, there was no laundry to do, so I'm checking it off. This comes from a company called paperandoats.com. So I thought I would show you um, what I'm making. This is... Um, this is how I'm gonna end this uh, vlog, my, my midweek vlog. But anyway, I am going to be making what is called an interlock um, style of a throw that I'm gonna make, just a little blanket sort of thing. So this right here is an interlock scarf I made and it sort of looks like it's um, like they're weaving under and over but they're actually knitted so you knit like these three squares and then you knit these this row here and then you knit this row across here you don't you use a uh, long variegated yarn so the colors in it are not uh, you don't have to do anything to make the squares look different that way it's just how the yarn runs so that's um that's what the interlock style is. And so I'm just beginning the project. This was supposed to look, they called it a wine color. It's looking a lot more pink and purple to me than I thought. So I'm not gonna give up on it yet because if I look inside here, it looks like there's some colors that are a little bit more wine colored in here. So maybe once it all gets woven together, I'll, I will like the color. I ordered 10 of these, so I better like it. Well, I thought I was done filming, but all of a sudden, we just got, I just heard some noise outside, and there's just a bunch of wind, and it's raining. I thought for a second it was hailing, but it's not. But look at this. 
I mean, it's just, we have this beautiful sunset here, but then oh, all of this crazy wind. I don't know where this came from. It said there was a 0% chance of precipitation today. And it's just nuts. Absolutely crazy. Now well, this adds a little bit of excitement to the day. Oh, there goes a box of mine across the yard. All right. Well, that is it for today's, for today's, uh, or for this week's, uh, half the week's vlog.